Hi everyone, I'm Carl Cox and I'd like to welcome you guys here to Awakenings 2018. Uh, on our left hand side here we have Ida, which is absolutely beautiful and lovely. And uh, she's been played, she played here yesterday, is that right? No, just yesterday. Yesterday? Oh right, okay, just, just today. So we haven't played yet, but you're going to be playing. And on my right hand side here we've got Macy Plex. Woo! Yeah. And Yoris Fawn. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank so you. I'm kind of like the mediator, but more, less about me, more about you guys, okay, right? Wow. So I've got a few questions here that the crew would like me to answer, yeah. uh, get you to answer. But after time, I'm just going to basically throw things up and then we'll see where we go from there. Sounds good. Nice and easy, relaxed. We have our drinks. Your birthday today as well. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Wow, nice one. Uh, so, so, do you have any favourite memories of uh, actually playing at the Awakenings Festival? Do you, do you have any just, you know, stories or things that you saw? Or, I want to put this to you two as well. You're saying, uh, think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, it. <laughs> oh my God. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to filter out we, things. We, we got one here, festival <laughs> highlights. I remember I, I, made a, I kind of made myself a new highlight yesterday. I, I do this every year. Uh, when I come back, I, I'll do something outlandish and crazy. I mean, I grabbed Martin. Uh, his, he gets on the microphone sometimes. Yeah. During, I was telling you earlier during Adam Bear set, and he, he tried to get out a couple things, and I just grabbed the mic out of his head. Adam Bear! And the whole place went nuts, and Adam didn't even know what was going on. He looked, and it was me, and it was, it was a nice moment. It was a very, like, um, it was just friends. You know, yeah. like, just, that's how I feel with the, with the, the, the crew here, and the, with the, all the DJs that come here. I feel like everyone's friends. We can just do fun things. Yours? Yeah. Any uh, favorite moments? You um, had I've had so many. I, I, I think I've been to Awakenings Festival for 15 years. It's a long time. I might have missed one or two in between. Um, but the first time I, I played was opening a stage. There was no one in the tent. You know, like it was one of these one of these days. I mean, I was I was yeah. just starting DJing. You know, in 2003, I think. Yeah. You know, and slowly climbing up every year, getting like one later spot, and then I think two years ago closing the the biggest main stage. You know, like like that whole great like that journey to come from from all the way down to go all the way to the top. That's that's just been one amazing uh, journey right, yeah. with awakenings. Right. Yeah, I mean that's 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 fantastic to to for people to understand that you know when you do these kind of events, you don't just go straight to the top. No. Well, some people do, but uh, <laughs> not me. That's yeah. another discussion for another time. But meanwhile, like you said, but that's a good memory. I mean, you know what it was to like be honest, to be honest, I think it's really, it's, it's a very healthy way of doing it, you know, because it's kind of how it's supposed to be. Yeah. If you're too quickly, you, if you get to the, to the big stage too quickly, you kind of, yeah. You know, you, you don't have the you risk have to of build fading up. away. Yeah. yeah, and it's you know you have to get the confidence and, and get the right. it's like, a, like the karate kid. You know, you have to learn and like start at the bottom. Like, like a karate doing. kid. Yeah. That's <laughs> a... <laughs> yeah. With your experience here yeah, with the yeah. I mean, actually, I had in the in the beginning, like the first years, I always even now. I mean, it's one of those places where I actually really like to go out in the crowd and just go around because a lot of places where you come, you just play and then you tend to hang around the backstage, but. But awakenings, I mean, I, I, I went so many times in the middle of the gas powder just to feel the vibe there. And that's, I mean, that's as good as it gets, I think. I mean, that that energy you feel there and right. just to see what they say and feel what they say. Uh, I mean, especially moving along, because I don't think I'm out of time anyway. Um, how do we stay healthy? So... Healthy in, what, in, in our busy uh, schedule of I've DJ and I mean you obviously look it's very healthy. Me, I'm not no, so much. No, no, no. I mean, uh, it's kind of I've been eating pretty I've been good. Eating. Yours has always been slim. Yeah, you've always been slim. I'm a, a vegan, so I guess that's quite healthy. Ah, there you go. Okay, vegan. No, definitely. I love oh, every man. food there is. And training and going out and yeah, not partying too much. They keep the balance. Because I mean, I, I actually did try uh, vegetarianism for about a year, and I actually did all right. I, I wasn't too bad at all, and you know, nothing really changed for me. But you know, I didn't turn into yours for sure. Uh, but but I did enjoy the food. But I just found that that you you kind of focusing on 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 what you're eating a little bit too much, and you're not enjoying your life as such. So you kind of I think the balance is definitely the way. Um, the girlfriend I was with before, she she actually was a vegan. Yeah, yeah, so, I'm a vegan as well. Yeah, so it was difficult to find, especially in in the tour schedule that we have, to find that type of food as well. You know, I mean, sometimes I tend to only eat nuts when I'm traveling. What yeah. do you do to stay healthy, my man? No, well, I I don't. I uh, <laughs> I eat no, I eat pretty badly, but um, we walk a lot. We live yeah. in Barcelona, so we walk a lot and um, bike a lot. Um, 
and I do. I have pretty powerful fingers. I have very strong fingers, <laughs> and especially this one. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm I'm in the studio a lot, but I try to walk as often as much. Yeah. <laughs> George, what do you do? To uh, what do I do besides the obvious things? You know, trying to eat as healthy as you can, which is difficult sometimes when you're traveling, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, I sleep more uh, in between gigs now than I used to. I used to hate it, you know, going to Spain, starting at four or five in the morning, sleeping before that, I couldn't do it. Nowadays, yeah. I just force myself, lie down, just get it over and done with. It really helps, you know, get, especially if you, have, if you have an early flight to get back to your family at home. Right. You know, you need to do that. Uh, besides that, of course, uh, cycling in Amsterdam. I got, got on my skateboard again, uh, which which, uh, which I picked up last year because Kolsch gave me uh, a skateboard for my 40th birthday. So, uh, and I was like, okay, let's get this going. Was yeah. it a short board? Or long no, board? it was a proper one, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awakening is 18, 2018. And uh, thanks, thanks very much for coming Thank you, Awakening. Thank you, Carl. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.